Convert with Moss 11 is out and it brings support for a series of Yamaha workstations, namely the Montage, the Mod X and the Mod X Plus, but it also can read some older formats. So I put together here a little list so you can give an idea what is supported. So the format is called the Yamaha YSFC format. I have no real idea what it stands for. I guess Y is Yamaha, but the rest is up to your interpretation. If you know it, just write it down in the comments of this video. And this is a format which is used in lots of different devices of Yamaha. So it starts with this zero, then the number is increased up to eight. But now the Montage M, they change this to Y to U, whatever. So I'm not sure if that is now a different format or the same. I have no idea because I don't have a Montage M. If you want to denote me one, just send it to me and then I can have a look at that format as well. But so far, not all of these devices also support samples. So I marked here where samples are supported. So we're mainly talking about the zero, the three, the six and then the seven and the eight, which is identical here in a Mod X and a Mod X Plus. And these last three are pretty identical and they are both supported for reading and writing. And the old models are only supported for read because I have only very, very few examples of them and I'm not sure if all the parameters are really correct. So if you have some examples of the XS, XF and the mocks <laughs> yeah send some some examples to me then i can have a closer look if everything is working nicely also if you run into issues just send me some examples as usual right into the thread on kvr the link is always on the download page of convert with moss and on kvr you can also send me a pm with a download link if you want to share me an example file so also worth noting, this YSFC format has some version numbering. So the XS uses 101. I guess also 100 was used to that device. Then it's a 2 for the XF and the 3 for the MOXF. At least the samples seem to be identical, but I did not look yet into performances. So there might be differences there. Then montage was increased to 4 and the... Uh, Later OS models see 405, I guess older ones, maybe also the 403 and so on, but I have no examples files for that. If you again have some examples with such numbers, also I would like to have a look at that. And then the Modex is using version number five. But let's finally dive into the app. I squeeze them a bit more to have more space for upcoming other formats. So reading it is not that very interesting. I thought I go here with a conversion from contact to the montage because this shows now also a feature I basically implemented for myself because my goal is to get some live setup I have into contact for example like this one where I have lots of different splits arranged on the keyboard which I use to play live with a laptop also there are some two more sounds here and I'm still dreaming of something where I can simply say put these things on a keyboard so I don't have to bring the laptop as well and I'm pretty close now here with the modex in that use case because what you now can do is to convert these things into one library there is the option here to combine all source multi samples into one library so if you scan something you scan a folder or a complex folder structure you can put all the sounds which are found into one library one montage or mod x library but beware there are no checks here for size or anything so if you just select too much stuff it might simply <laughs> explode here so be careful here you also select what output format you would like to have so the user and the library are pretty identical but the montage or the modex puts them in different places so select the one where you want to put it i select here now the user and both machines also can load both versions so the only difference in the file format currently what i do is to put the different version numbers a number four for montage and then a number five for modex in there 
but besides that, the versions are pretty identical, which you get here. And also, if you choose here to combine several multi summons, you have the option to give a name for the library which should be used for the output. So I prepared a little test here. So one of my songs, which I showed you here in contact, is here. So here are all the samples. Here's the contact file. And now we simply click on combine all. Say we want to name it chaos like the song and then convert it. So, and it's collecting everything here together. So get the info also that it's collecting these sounds. That's the different info you get. And it's done and we have one output library file. So if you also have the tools from children mailers, you can also check here if that worked. And here is the output and here is the output library. Let's throw it in and you will see this looks good. So all the different instruments from contact are here as waveforms and you see also the number of key banks here and this should have worked. So let's also check this out on the device itself. So moving over here to the Modex, you need to copy that on a USB stick, put it in your device, and then you can go to utility. And this is also horribly complicated, this device. And you need to choose now what you want, library, or we want to have a user file in that case. And there you see here is the Chaos X8U. You select it and then you can say you want to load that. Be careful, this will override your whole user library. So always know what you're doing. So note that so far it contains only multi samples, the conversion, no performances are created for that. So where do you find now your samples? What you need to do is to create an empty performance. You can go to category and select here in it. And let's say we have a little normal in it patch here. Go to enter and here we have one performance with one part. So we select now this part somewhere here and then you need to go to edit. And on edit, you can select the first element. So one part can consist up to eight elements and all of these elements can contain different samples. So the next idea is if I make my way through the gazillion of performance parameters to fill these automatically and you will be able to bring over a full contact multi and this would be really awesome because then I could basically really translate my song to here. But so far you need to arrange that by hand, but it's also not too complicated. So for example, let's go here and select here again category and we want to see all and here you see now all the different samples multi samples sets we uh, already saw here in the waveform tool and yeah let's for example select here this string sound enter and we should have that here now here it is And we can also add the bass. If you go here to the second element, you can go to that. I have somewhere, where's the bass? Here's a hard bass. Oh, the sweet bass, that one. Oh. oh, we need to enable it. Here's the bass. So very nice. So you can add all the other samples and pretty quickly select the song. And as I said, the idea is to have this automatically in the future. But so far, this is really great to bring over a bunch of multi samples from wherever you have them, SF set, SF2, or Decent Sampler, or whichever format you have lying around. You can now bring very, very easily into your montage and your Modix Plus. And I would be curious what you are doing with that. What do you use Convert with Moss for? Also write this down in the comments. I'm really curious. Does it make sense to you? Do you like it? Dig it. And I'll see you next time. Make some fucking music.